This is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP G56 laptop, HP Pavilion G56 laptop with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen on the G56 laptop. Okay, so let's first go over the tools we need. We need an X-Acto knife with a point and blade. We need a pair of metal tweezers. A small electronics screwdriver with a Phillips PH1 bit. And a Phillips PH0 bit. And the PH stands for Phillips. I just realized that. Learn something new every day. And also, we need a small flathead screwdriver for a trick that we're going to do that's going to make the job a lot easier and easier than it says to do in the HP repair manual. So it's a small screwdriver with a flathead. Okay, so before we go any further, we want to remove the battery from this laptop. We go on the bottom. We slide this lever here and tilt the battery up and we remove it. Okay, now we're ready to take the screen out. Now, uh, what, the way you usually take the screen out is you take off this front plastic frame, it's also known as the bezel, and you get to the screen. Most of the time there are some screws on this bezel and most of the time you can easily reach these screws, but for this type of laptop that HP has come out with, this design, the screws are kind of hard to reach. So if you look down here, get a good focus, they're down here. There's one here. And if you look down here, there's another one here. It's hiding behind some plastic covers, so it's a little bit hard to see. So we're going to get to those screws. Otherwise, what HP tells you to do is pretty much open up the whole laptop, take out the keyboard, take out this top cover, and remove this whole screen assembly with the hinges. We don't want to do that because that's too much work, and you're pulling out too many connectors that you have to reconnect after that. So we're going to do it easier way. So what we're going to do first is take off the plastic covers. That's where our exacto knife comes in. So let's see if we can do this. This one comes off pretty easily. There's one. And there's take off the second one. And this one I'm going to put it on the side so that we doesn't get away. Okay, this here comes the trick. This is where we're going to do the trick to take off the cover without taking apart the whole laptop. We take our small flat screwdriver, flat head screwdriver, and we go and do the screw at an angle and see if we can get a good close up. I put usually quite a bit of pressure so I don't strip the screw. Once we get it going, it's not too bad, but first, once the screwdriver engages the screw, you want to put a, quite a bit of pressure first to get the screw going. Okay, so we took one screw out, and let's do the same thing with the other screw. Let's see, get good lighting. Alright, so I'm going to angle, so here we go. So we're going to put a lot of pressure and get the screw going and we get it out. All right, here it is. All right, now the screws are out, we can remove the bezel around the screen. And this is probably the second hardest part of the job. What I like to do is reach in with my fingertips on the screen side and gently start pulling up and listen for the snapping sounds. Once you hear the snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel's coming up. And we slowly work our way all the way around the screen. Now, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. 
if an area doesn't want to give, it goes somewhere else. You can see if it gives somewhere else and then come back to that area. Do the same thing on the bottom. And the last thing we want to do, there's a seam at the bottom where the screen is connected, the bezel is connected. We loosen up this seam like so. And then go up and then pull the bezel out like so. And we put the bezel to the side. Okay, so next to remove this screen, we need to get at some screws that are holding the screen on the metal mounting brackets on the side. There's two screws here and two screws here. Now on some laptops you can get to the screws without doing anything else, but this one you can't quite get to the screws, so we have to tilt the screen forward a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the two screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the screen lid. So that's one and two, like so. Okay. And what we want to do now is tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit, see if we can get to the screws. Now, we can get to the top screws, but the bottom screws are still hiding. And that's where the next trick comes in. We want to loosen up the screws on the bottom that are holding the metal mounting brackets. We don't want to take them off, just loosen them up. There's three screws that I loosen up on each side, so one three here and then go to the left side one two three all right now we can tilt the screen assembly forward enough that we can get well maybe not I'm going to loosen up some more so we have a better angle like so now Let's loosen the fourth, fourth one. That didn't work. All right. So we just have to force it a little bit and get to the screw on the bottom. If it doesn't go, just loosen up these screws. I'm going to do it anyway, even though I'm already done with it. Like so. And have another screw here. Now when you remove the screen screws, you want to have the screen assembly tilted backwards so that it doesn't fall forward on you. Okay, so we took the screws out on this side. We're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to loosen it up some more so that the screen tilts forward more. Okay, and you can see there's still, there's still a little bit of an angle, but we can get to this screw like so. So that's one, and we have a second screw on top here, and two. All right. So next, we're going to tilt the screen assembly forward slowly, making sure nothing is stopping it. Sometimes there's a webcam cable that has adhesive on the back that's attached, so you have to remove the adhesive first, but this one doesn't have it. And we tilt the screen forward and that's it. Now this is a LED screen and it only has one connector on the bottom left if you tilt the screen the other way. So. First, we need to remove this connector. So first, we lift up the adhesive tape that's securing the connector, like so. So once we do that, and sometimes there's adhesive on the back of the video cable. In this case, there isn't. So what we do now is pull the video cable back and the connector is out. So let's take a look at the screen. This is a 
2.6 inch LED screen with a connector on the bottom left as in 99% of the cases. So it's a standard screen. Should not have any trouble finding it. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number is, let's get a good focus. I want to give us a good focus. Here we go. LTN 156AT09. That's what you need to know. LTN 156AT09. So you can type that into Google or eBay or eBay Screen Surgeons. Also sells these screens. Just go to screensurgeons.com and click on buy a screen. Now, most likely when you do receive your screen, it's not going to be the same exact part number. It's going to be a compatible screen, just to make sure you know that. And the other thing that we need to concern ourselves about, it has a glossy finish. Most of the 15.6 inch LED screens have a glossy finish. And that's it. So once you get your screen back in, you connect the connector again, put the screen back in, put the screws on the side, Make sure you tie, not forget to tighten these screws on the bottom, put these screws on the top, put the bezel back on, and put the bezel screws in, and you should be good to go. And uh, that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.